Let's recall a grade 7 math lesson about the degree of polynomial in one variable. With the help of this lesson, we can deeply understand how to determine a quadratic equation from others. Determine the degree of the following polynomial in one variable. Number 1, x. The degree of the polynomial is on the first degree because the exponent of this term is 1. Number 2, x cubed minus 7. The degree of this polynomial is on the third degree because among the two terms, the highest degree is 3. Number 3, x squared minus 4x plus 4. The degree of this polynomial is on the second degree because 2 is the highest degree among the three terms. Number 4, x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7x minus 9. The degree of this polynomial is on the fourth degree because 4 is the highest degree among the five terms in this polynomial. Remember, in determining the degree of a polynomial in one variable, get the exponent of each term, then the highest degree will be considered as the degree of polynomial. That would be quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a second degree equation that can be written in a general form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a must not be equal to zero. Now take note of these terms. ax squared is the quadratic term. a is the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. bx is the linear term b is the numerical coefficient of the linear term and c is the constant term there are two types of quadratic equation complete quadratic equation and incomplete quadratic equation complete quadratic equation is a quadratic equation where a b and c have values in short the values of a b and c are present Incomplete quadratic equation is a quadratic equation where the values of two out of three coefficient is present or we could say are not equal to zero. Now let's start with our first set of examples. First, let's determine whether each equation is quadratic or not. Number one. 5x minus 7 equals 3. This is not a quadratic equation because the term with the highest exponent is 5x and it is under degree of 1. Number 2. 3x squared minus 7x equals 1. This is a quadratic equation because the term with the highest exponent is 3x squared and obviously it is on the second degree number three x squared minus 3 equals x squared plus 4x minus 8 this is not a quadratic equation because even though the term with the highest exponent is x squared which is on the degree of 2 when you try to simplify the highest exponent will be 1 found in the linear term 4x. In our next set of example, we are going to transform the quadratic equation into its general form and determine the values of a, b, and c. Number 1. x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. The general form is x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Hence, it is already in a general form and the value of A is 1, B is 6, C is 9. Number 2. 6x squared minus x plus 10 equals 0. The general form is 6x squared minus x plus 10 equals 0. Hence, again, it is already in a general form and the value of A is 6, 
B is negative 1, C is 10. Number 3. 3x squared plus 2x equals x plus 4. The general form of the quadratic equation is 3x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0. And the value of a is 3, b is 1, c is negative 4. Take note, we simplify the given in order to arrive the general form of the quadratic equation, which is, once again, 3x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0. Number 4. x squared plus 10 equals 0. The general form is x squared plus 10 equals 0. Hence, it is already in a general form with no linear term. So the value of b is 0. And the value of a is 1. b is 0 once again. c is 10. Number 4 is also considered as incomplete quadratic equation, wherein there is 2 out of 3 coefficients present in a quadratic equation. Always remember, quadratic equation in a one variable is a second degree equation. That means the highest degree of this equation is 2. And the general form of this equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers. And a must not be equal to 0.